Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be creating a plugin that's going to allow us to hover over a particular link. Uh, it's going to take the title from the link uh, and it's going to display it on the page as a sort of hover over and follow uh, div. So at the moment, you can see I've got this uh, link here, which is Google. Uh, and I obviously have a, a link location and then I've just applied a title uh, as we usually would. Now what's going to happen here is the plugin inside ext.js uh, is going to call uh, is going to be called here so we've got this text uh, this plugin called hover text uh, and that's applied to all a elements so all uh, essentially what could be links on a page. Uh, and what this plugin does is it takes the title attribute from this link uh, and it applies it in such a way that it will display as a, um, a hover over description uh, and this will be obviously taken from the title so you'll see that when I hover over this link here uh, we have the text appear a powerful search engine so uh, essentially what we're doing is something that we could usually do in jQuery uh, but we've applied it actually to a plugin so we're going to be working with creating this as a plugin uh, so essentially all we do is just call it and, and that's it basically. So plugin.js uh, contains all of the plugin files. EXT is just an external script that we would usually use. Uh, we could apply it inline but obviously uh, with uh, you know maintaining sort of some kind of structure we tend to keep JavaScript uh, away from our document body uh, but include it in an external file instead. So uh, the demonstration is here. Uh, obviously if you were to go ahead and change the title of this uh, let's just say to Google uh, it would obviously pick up on this and it would change the text inside of this hovering uh, div here uh, and obviously it's styled using style.css which will go through and create the uh, actual div itself uh, and then apply that to the document and place this text inside so all it really needs is hover text and this this will just give you an idea of sort of how to create your own plugin but also how we can apply uh, functionality to that as well so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the code inside of the files and let's start writing this plugin out okay so over to the text editor like I said we have ext.js and plugin.js at the moment these are both empty because we're going to be writing them out in just a moment uh, we've got my link here uh, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the style sheet that I've used as well uh, let's just open up style.css uh, let's just get rid of that because we'll start from afresh so we uh, understand how it, this is all working and how the divs created uh, you can see at the moment this does link to Google uh, however we don't get our hover over text you'll notice however we get the default tooltip here which just says Google when I hover over uh, let's just go back and change this to a powerful search engine so uh, when we hover over you see we get this tooltip now we're going to be disabling that but displaying the div instead uh, so we'll obviously go through this process uh, the first thing really to do is to style out the div that we want to display uh, so what I'm going to do is just in my document body uh, I'm going to create the div above this link uh, and I'm going to call this hover text uh, so when I refresh the div is now in place but obviously we haven't styled it in style.css so let's go ahead and say hover text and we'll start to actually style this out now the first thing we want to do is make sure the position is set to absolute uh, and this just means that we can modify the top uh, and left uh, position of this div uh, that's quite important because we're going to need to set that to follow the mouse uh, initially we're going to have the display as none uh, because obviously we don't want to display this uh, you know just on the page as normal we want to only display it uh, when we hover over this link here so uh, you know we're setting display to number for now we'll just go ahead and comment this out uh, so we don't have it you know hidden we want to see what's going on uh, let's just go ahead and just put some text inside of here so we can see uh, our progress so at the moment we've just got oh okay so it's overlapped that link uh, at the moment so let's just go ahead and comment this link out okay so we've got some text this is our div uh, as it currently uh, looks but we want to go ahead and add some other aspects to this so I'm going to add a background color uh, and this is going to be F0 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 which is just a light gray color uh, I'm going to set the border to one pixel solid and 40 40 40 which is sort of a, a mid gray color uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and set the padding of this 
to let's say six pixels so now you can see that that's been transformed to this uh, what, that we can see here we've got the border we've got the text inside and we've got a gray background color so essentially now we have the div that we want to uh, you know follow uh, we don't actually uh, we don't actually need to you know sort of do anything with this um, in actual fact I think we're going to leave out display none uh, because what we're going to be doing is generating this div uh, when we actually hover over a link so we don't really need the display none uh, at the moment uh, obviously we're not going to be including this uh, on the page every time we're going to let jQuery uh, add that to our document for us so back to original we have uh, Google here and we have the hover over tooltip a powerful search engine we want to go ahead and change this so style.css is done now we can go ahead and close that off uh, we're not going to do ext.js just for now, but we're going to start to create the outline and the body of our plugin. So to create our plugin, uh, we're going to have two brackets, um, and inside this we're going to have a function, and just inside that we need a dollar sign. This just means that we can go ahead and use, uh, you know, a dollar sign rather than replacing this with, uh, you know, jQuery having to write jQuery in here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually create a sort of like our function body bring this down and after here we just want to write j sorry j query uh, and that's just gonna that's essentially all this is is just the outline for our plugin so inside of here we can start uh, to name our plugin as well so I'm going to use dollar sign dot fn which obviously stands for function uh, and we want to go ahead and name our plugin so I'm gonna name this hover text so now we've included a name of our plugin okay so this is going to be equal to a function now in here you'd usually put sort of parameters uh, but we're not going to need a parameter here because everything's dynamic it works for us we have no options or settings uh, but obviously you, you know that's an option okay so now that we've created our uh, plugin this is done so uh, to test I'm going to go ahead and write alert uh, let's just say working so now that we've created our uh, plugin all that's going to happen is when we call our plugin we're just going to alert the text working now at the moment obviously on the page there is nothing because we haven't actually called our plugin but if we go over to ext.js we can go ahead and call this 